he's in the hotel room and the voodoo priestess is making all of the metal and glass and things that he's eaten over the years erupt out of his body. So we made a false torso of him that we could run a sharp edge up underneath so that it looked like a razor blade tracing across his chest and, and up his leg and, and all of that for a quick little insert of that. And then all of a sudden you see parts of his body and you know, almost two inch holes start just blowing big chunks out of him. So we had another insert that was made out of uh, uh, fiberglass and PVC fittings uh, that we put blasting caps inside of and then put a quarter inch layer of, of uh, flesh and blood toned gelatin skin over the top. So it looked like his torso beautifully made up, but it was made out of gelatin. So as soon as we blew off those caps, it would blow these big holes through his body that blew more chunks of blood and foam. When the squibs went off and blew the stuff and I looked up, you saw holes in the insulation on the inside of the ceiling. It didn't blow all the way through the roof so that it would leak, but it, it did damage to the building. And I just, I knew they were going to come after me for that or whatever. That was actually a really fun night. It's, it's always fun when you get to start playing with explosives. <laughs>